In the last video, we identified and discussed one of the main important search engine which was PubMed, used for searching and identifying information or data based on our keyword. Now, you have the source, how to cite the main source in your work, which is called citation or the art of referencing. Here, I am Bajdar in Science Explorer. In this tutorial, we try to create a link between your source and the article or your manuscript. This links gives a support for your argument and it gives acknowledgement and credits for the original authors and also it supports future work. Finally, it avoids the plagiarism or avoids or keeps your work from plagiarism. So let's recap our title. So there's a question why we need to cite other sources. So referencing, it tells the readers that you are understood deeply in your subject and also accurate citation proves your results and support your interpretations. Finally, your findings and conclusions will be more credible if you use the references in a proper way in your research. Now, what are those sections that are required to cite or uh, required other sources as a referencing or as a citation? In general introduction and discussion section needs to cite other sources. Whereas abstract in most of the uh, thesis and also papers doesn't need to cite the information or the arguments or the text that are presented in the abstract and results sections. Sometimes methods, yes, it needs to be cited. Now, what are what are the main sources that that are be, or that can be used as a source or as a referencing? primary source and secondary sources can be used. Then we can say review article and research article. Also we have other sources such as books or um, what we can say conference papers and conference abstract papers that can be uh, used. But we are as a editors and peer reviewers not recommended to use books or other uh, conference abstract papers because these are not, these are not peer-reviewed works. Therefore, we have to focus on the primary source and secondary sources uh, that in, in our text or can be used as a citation in our work. Now, research article, review article, as we mentioned, these are two main sources that can be used as a references in where research article can be used or in where review article can be used or can be cited within the text? This is the first question. Then the next question, next question, single citation and multiple citation. Which part of your argument needs only one reference? And what are those sections that are required multiple citations in our sections? We will discuss in the uh, detail. Now, if we look to this paper, this is our work, we uh, publish it in a molecular cancer in Nature Journal. So look at this, it contains it's a review article, abstract and introduction or background, other is the uh, body paragraph. For the abstract section, this there is, or uh, you can't see uh, uh, references. In the background, there are a lot of uh, citations or what we can say a lot of references use it as a, a reference uh, source look in some places uh, there are only one citation look this is only single reference used as a source for citation whereas in other places there are three different uh, references if we look or if we repeat the, the question that uh, in which places in our text can be or must be used only a single uh, 
the article as a reference and uh, in where we can cite multiple uh, references that's the first thing a unique data or a unique finding uh, when you mention or uh, focus on the unique data single data you have to cite only one references for example in here E. coli E. coli in this year there is only one paper that focused on this microorganism and also in the CRISPR case in 2002 there's there was only one paper so there's uh, one citation and if we look at the uh, other year in 2005 there are three different teams they published three papers so in here it uh, we have to cite three uh, citations look at this we use or we uh, focus on the viral genome sequence for the uh, resistance to phages you have to mention only the article that mentioned this one and uh, so on for example this is two because we mentioned in here two uh, different uh, data two different type of data therefore you have to mention both references now uh, you are familiar with these two uh, things two uh, arguments in some statements you have to mention only one reference one article whereas in other references that you mention a general statement or you focus on uh, more than two or three ideas or in some re research article you especially in the result section when you compare your result with the two or three uh, other sources published papers you have to cite two or three uh, articles that you already uh, compared with your result so this is the uh, art of referencing within the text the art of numbers of the references in some of the uh, places within the text you have to mention only one whereas in the other uh, statements within the text you have to uh, use more than one references as a source of uh, citation look at this paper this is the second one we uh, already uh, published this one in nature journal in here we use now i want to uh, uh, compare the review article with the re research article in which places we have to cite only review article that's the first question and the second question for which statement you have to cite the original article now for the review article uh, there are many places uh, in the text you the review article can be used as a source of uh, citations but for the research article for the original article uh, there is a limited places within the text that you can cite uh, a research article this is the reason behind uh, citations for review article uh, look if uh, more of the review articles uh, received a lot of citations because uh, for the review article there are many places that you have to cite uh, the review article for example when we discuss an overview uh, of the topic for the overview you have to uh, focus on the review article you have to cite the review article uh, for also summarizing existing evidences always you have to mention or cite the review article and when you identify gaps in the literature or discuss it you can cite a review article uh, too and finally also cite the review article when you provide a theoretical part so usually in this part a theoretical part review article uh, will be cited so there are uh, several places for a review article look at this now for uh, this paper this one is three articles we put it in here this regulation of microRNA associated with viral pathological condition including cancer 
In here, this is, this is general statement. You have to cite more than one uh, references, one uh, articles, and also you can cite the review article because this is a general statement. Look at the 40, this is a review article. This is also a <coughs> review article because this is a general uh, statement. <coughs> this is also a review article. But if, if we look to reference number 42, we <coughs> cited this statement. For this statement, you have to focus only on the research article, not the review article. <laughs> because this is the specific data that you mentioned, specific microRNA. For example, microRNA21 is an oncogene. And you link it with the P10 and PDCD4. So you have to focus on this article that mentioned this one. Look, microRNA21. This is a, a research article. And also, some of the statement within the text doesn't need to uh, put citations, put uh, uh, references. For example, in here, this is a general uh, statement sum. In here, you are free, you can uh, put or not. But in general, uh, we are not recommended to put citations because this is a topic sentences. For the topic sentences, this, uh, it doesn't need to cite. But when you want to expand it, for example, for example, or for instance, microRNA, blah, blah, you have to cite. Also, microRNA 34A, this is a specific finding related to these two genes. You have to mention, again, research paper. Research paper. Look at this one also, microRNA, the name of the specific microRNA. It's not general. This is one microRNA related to this gene. You have to mention the paper that already focused on these two genes. This is also similar. Look at this uh, topic sentences. This is one, moreover, several genes, blah, blah. This is the topic sentences. We didn't put the citation for this text because it doesn't need. But when you want to expand it, for example, this is the specific data. We put it in here in order to clarify the, these topic sentences. So you have to cite it. You have to cite it. Similarly, we have uh, used the other topic sentences without citation. But in here, when we want to expand in deep, look, we put it a specific uh, paper or a specific article as a source for citation. So these are some uh, information regarding to the uh, statements within the text. Some of the statements doesn't need to uh, cite, whereas others re require to cite or to use one of the uh, source for citation as a reference. However, we focused on the review and research article. Some of the places uh, doesn't need to mention review article while some of the statements within the text you must you must cite only the research paper such as those uh, papers or those statements that that focused on a specific finding on a specific finding so i hope you uh, understood uh, these questions that you that we already uh, clarified before Finally, thank you for watching and if you have any questions or recommendations, contact us. And don't forget to support our work by liking and subscribing our videos.